How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. Dude. We have the view from here with us, and they can see their names and uh, what they do in the band. Are we picking up I the mic? I, here, I can pass this one. All right, okay. there we go. Communal Easier. Mic, yeah. Communal yeah. mic, I'm sorry. I'm Dan John, obviously, by my personality with the communal mic. I'm, I'm, I'm the vocalist. <laughs> uh, I am Vince. I play drums in the band. Give that back. <laughs> we'll be, we won't be animals. There here. you go. I appreciate so it. My name's Justin. I play guitar in the band. I'm Michael. I play bass. I'm Ben. I play guitar. Awesome. So I've had a few of you on the last time. It's been a while, but I always love like catching up with bands that I have on for like the second time. So what has happened? Uh, there's a lot of changes, obviously. Weird uh, things. Weird things have happened. So maybe you can delve into some of those weird and strange things that, that happened since yeah. the last time we talked. Yeah, man. So we, um, we had some unfortunate uh, changes where um, our... Our original two guitarists had to leave for various reasons. Um, I've been playing in bands with Justin since the early... 2009? 2009, yeah. 2009, yeah. okay. Um, so, you know, he was our first choice when our uh, original guitarist left. And um, our other guitarist uh, got a new job. He got married and had to do some, some real-life things. And uh, we got our boy Ben over here. And uh, so it's it's been an uh, Instagram famous. That's how I know. Look at him. Look yeah. at that. Look at that man. Look at that. Look at that stash. Ooh. Look at that freaking stash. Look at that stash, man. I don't exactly. Did you find him? I, Whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Vince yeah, found him. Found yeah, him. I found him on Instagram, and I was yeah. like, he was the glove kid. Dude, right? <laughs> <laughs> he was the glove guy. He was wearing a nice black glove while shredding this riff that was just insane. And I was just like, oh my god, yo, we were all just like, yo, That's this is one. it. People, uh, people, just to, just to, um, <laughs> yeah. it's not a fetish. It's not a fetish. I'm not trying to be the new Michael Jackson or anything, but I, I have very sweaty palms, which is called a uh, hypo something. And there you go. Yeah. Very sweaty. I'm a very wet kind of guy. Just so you guys know. Mike, are you a doctor now? I wish I was. Okay. Mike wouldn't be playing bass if he was a doctor. <laughs> And Mike wow. wasn't even in our last interview last yeah, time. True. We were actually Mike just was at work. Yeah, he was at work, and we were. Uh, Wait, is this the one? No, yeah. this was the, this was the interview where we were just making vegan jokes all the all oh. time. Oh. And he didn't even he didn't even get to defend himself. So well, now now, now you're here. So pick the mic up, Mike, and uh, you have to defend yourself yeah. for her past <laughs> retribution. I mean, I just defend myself every day with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's. I live with Vince, so there's oh, not a day okay. that goes by where him or our band manager Jim doesn't make a vegan joke. They sing songs about it. <laughs> yeah, we do. We sing. We sing a lot of songs. Don't they're you? improv. They're great. Um, they suck. They oh, might. They, they might be on an album someday. You know. No. You know. <laughs> <B -sides>. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you bring your B sides. It's yeah, just. It's gonna be like one of those things. You remember waking up when you were like nine, ten years old, and you had those like silly infomercials with, like Celine Dion on them. It's gonna be one of those songs, just strictly for Mike. <laughs> I will slap you all in the deck. <laughs> I feel like Mike is just gonna after the like cameras cut. I feel like Mike's gonna murder all of us. Yeah. Maybe not me though, because yes. like we just met. So, <laughs> whiskey but helps I... keep those thoughts at bay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, you also released a new track, Lush, which is also just fantastic. Um, so, how did what was the process in that? Like, <laughs> did you guys go back to like a similar person that you had worked with in the past, or was it just like? You know, clean slate, that's, brand that's new, you. all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. So that was not the first song I tried writing with these guys. That I think was maybe the, the third, third one. I say and um, when I wrote it, I just kind of like clicked to me right away. I was just like, yo, this is the song we have to record. And now, mind you, we worked on this track with Ace Enders from the early November okay, and Nick yeah. Brucey from Man Overboard. Um, shout out again for the 900th time Thank for picking us for that competition and bringing that song to life. Um, but I wrote that song, I think a week prior to going in there, we were going to go into a track or oh. go in there with a song called what we're working as swell. And I said to the guys, I was like, Hey, this is, this is the one, this is what we got to do. And I got backlash from all of them. And they're like, dude, this is literally next week. You can't do this. Blah, 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 I was on, on a on cruise. So I was on yeah, a cruise. Dan wasn't even in the country. I was on a cruise in Australia, not even in our hemisphere. And he's springing on me. I didn't even hear the track yet. He's springing on me. All right. So we're actually going in with, like, this song. And I was like, bro, are you kidding me? Like, do you even think I don't, I don't have a speaker? Like, nothing like that. Like, yep. how am I supposed to listen to this? Where were you? New Zealand? Yeah. I was yeah. in New Zealand. I was in the open waters of New Zealand. 
and I get this, I remember it perfectly, I was walking back to my, like, state room, and I was just like, yo, he's hitting me with this right now, like, really, bro? Mm -hmm. And I was, I was so pissed, but then I heard the song, and literally... I think you texted the group, and you were just like, all right, all right. Like, I was like, sure, I was like, like, I was like, sure we'll I was do like, it. I could be down, and then I think the first time, like, when I got back from New Zealand, we, we actually, like sat down like at practice i heard it again yep. and like in that, that moment chorus, that's where the correspondent i literally i got that hook i was just like yo this is the hook like and luckily we went into the studio and like with the exception of very few alterations to that hook that was the hook i don't think the hook itself changed at yeah. all there were minor lyrically, parts there were a few yeah, lyrically yeah, it changed yeah, but there were only a few like, parts to that song that changed i mean as far as like the writing process for that song i don't want to say that I tried to emulate a sound from the old guitarist or whatever, just try to stay true to what these guys were already doing. Um, and I mean, I mean, I'd say it was a little bit more, different. I don't want to call it basic or whatever, but it's definitely, I would say more marketable in the sense that it's just like, it's, more it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Everybody can understand it. <laughs> like it's, you know, this is what it is. So it's more relatable. Let's say, let's just say that it's, well, it's, it's a song where people that aren't musicians would really kind of yeah. appreciate well, what was really cool about that song is we went in with three songs. Like, okay. We slightly pre-proed them. And they were like, all right, show us what you got. And, like, that was the one immediately. They were like, yeah, it took, like, about five seconds for us to pick this song. Yeah. And we just, like, worked with it from there. Uh, they gave us all this advice uh, and, like, sick. great ways to, like, work through a song. Because, yeah. like, we've never really done this outside of, like, our buddy's, like, house studio. Yeah. Like, Which is still, I mean, that's still a professional grade studio. Obviously, it's just not a a commercial spot like this was. Right, but like we were doing it with people I've been listening to for like over a decade. Oh at yeah, this point. yeah. So like that was a trip. I also think like just being in the area, like you know those bands, like the early November and yeah, like course, and, right. and Man, Man, Man Overboard. Like I feel like those are just like staple bands yeah, for yeah. like East Coast. Like we definitely wanted to work with. So like like he was saying, we came in with three songs, and we definitely wanted to do the song that we thought was. The strongest, but we also, like, we went in with an open mind, yeah. in a sense. Like, we were like, all right, we're going to go with kind of whatever, like, we're going to give them, we're going to show them these three songs, and then we're going to go with whatever they think is the strongest song to work with. In the back of my mind, I was like, I hope they pick Lush. I hope they pick Lush. <laughs> and luckily enough, they picked Lush, so it actually, all worked out. Yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> remember that? Yeah. So, we had actually... And remember, we're gonna we had like made this elaborate there. plan to yeah. like pretend that we were going to write a song because the whole deal with this competition was uh, they wanted to pick a band that they wanted to work with, either yeah. take an existing project or make something just from the ground up. Uh, that's it. So yeah. we were going to play it as if like I came up with the There's riff the or lush on the wow. spot. Yeah. So even then it would still be created. But I completely forgot that we were going to like backdoor it and be like, this is going to be the one no matter what. <laughs> That's so cool. And, you know, again, the opportunity to do something like that must have been just like once in a lifetime super, kind of thing. Super cool, man. Awesome, guys. Well, another question I always love asking as a repeat, who have you guys been jamming recently? Like, what's on your Spotify? What have you been listening to lately? All right. So, you know what? I'm going to plug this because – so, typically, I'll always listen to, like, new music, everything like that. But I've actually been – on my first podcast ever it's this podcast called lead singer syndrome it's actually um yeah it's by shane, shane told and i literally haven't delved into new I, I need to get back into my music grind because i've literally only been doing that because I, he covers like so many of my favorite artists so that's pretty much all i've been listening to on my way to work um okay i'll take that one for you all right um so, again, like, I tend to, like, listen to my same, you know, early 2000s bands. I listen to Under Oath. I listen to, you know, New Found Glory. I listen to Taking Back Sunday. But as far as local music goes, uh, we went out to the middle of Pennsylvania a month ago. Oh, yeah. A month ago or so. Like, nowhere Pennsylvania. It was, like, five hours away. And we played with this band, Fernway. They're from Buffalo, though, right? They're from Buffalo, oh, yeah. yeah. And... Ever since we played with them, like, I've been jamming them hard. Uh, last week, we played with a band called Alone I Walk uh, from up in Canada. Also really good. So, like, I, other than, like, the normal music I, I listen to, I always try to listen to, like, local stuff. Because it's just new, man. It's just something no one's doing. Um, so, if anyone has a chance to check out Fernway... Fernway official on Instagram, I think, and Alone I Walk official. Mm, yeah, Alone I Walk. Alone I Walk. They're from Canada. You should be able to find them. They're nice guys. Um, that's what I've been jamming for 
like the last two three weeks. So. The band Camino writes the best hooks ever. Ooh, okay. Okay. I was actually also going to say Fernway and Alone I Walk. <laughs> um, some of the nicest dudes we've played with in such a long time. I think my favorite thing when we played with them was how they kept being so polite to each other when they interrupted <laughs> each other. <laughs> Canadians. Uh, Canadians, right? But yeah, their song Growing Up, uh, Alone I Walk, has been like on repeat for me. Like Last night, I took like a 40-minute drive, and I was just playing that song. Oh, that's sick. It, it hit... It, uh, no, no, no. It's called Growing Up. It's by oh, them. Okay. But like it just hits so hard. Like When they played it live, I like lost it. I recently discovered this uh, new band called. No, I don't know. I don't know if it's new or not, but Televangelist. Oh yeah. I just pull up my phone yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, that's and how I you. just discovered them like last week. Great fucking band. But, yeah, um, they're sick. What kind of music is that? It's almost like indie math rock type stuff. Okay. Very similar right, to what right up our ass yeah. now. So um, yeah, good group of guys. Awesome guys. Next question: If you could comp- compile a musical supergroup, who'd be in your band? I feel like you should pick. Whatever, so you're a vocalist, so you pick a vocalist. Wait, 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 wait. Is this literally like an addition to our band, or no, like if you were, if one you were person gonna, if can you were add one person? So you're a guitar player, so you add a guitar player. So it, like you're oh, making a band based. A band. You're yeah, making yeah. a band. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This, okay. Based oh, off right. of your okay. yeah. Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with good old uh, Robert Plant of Led Zeppelin to do the vocal. Oh. Weird, bro. Weird. Weird. Like, weird. Choose whoever, man. This is gonna be like a weird. We're gonna make it weird. All right, so, all right, so can we can we modify this? Can we do like an old one and a modern person? Because I feel like- you could do like a mix if you wanted to. Or did you want to do an old like all old band and all modern band? No, we'll just do it. Yeah. Interesting. Let's keep it we'll interesting. Just do anything? Yeah. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Shit, dude. What am I gonna do now? You've got to do your do your pick. That's why I'm saying we should do it. We should make it weird. Pick who you would say. Yeah, like even if I didn't say Robert Plant. All right, so let's get real weird. Like, and not to be like stereotypical or, or anything, but like let's just get weird with it and like Travis Barker and, and Robert Plant. Oh sick. And like sick, I've been listening okay. to so many other drummers, but like let's get weird. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Okay. Uh, I mean I I had a name in mind, but I mean, if we're going down a weird path, of- <laughs> well, you can still pick who you want. I don't know because I'm torn. I'm torn literally between three people that are all amazing guitarists. So I mean, pick a number one through three. <laughs> Aaron Marshall. Right. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a complete wrench in the works and throw in a YouTuber who's like a fantastic bass player, okay, okay. Adam Neely. Oh, he's, Adam Neely. He's oh, tight. he's so oh, he's good. Tight. Dude. He's tight. Yeah, like such a good musician. His videos are sick. Teaches a lot of things, but like he's a gnarly bass player. Oh yeah, he's been on TV once, <laughs> once, <laughs> once. <laughs> just once. My biggest influence from day one, um, Buckethead. Buckethead Ooh. is one of my biggest. Ah, wow. Yo, we got a Yo, this is tight though. This, this is, this is the tight. The best fucking guitar player and the most weirdest fucking guy. Yo, if I can have a conversation with him for a minute, man, <laughs> I, I feel like I can learn the universe and I'll be, I'll be good with that. Dude. Yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah. No one fucking. No one knows. <laughs> no one knows. No one knows. No, I know the story behind. Wait, so nobody's seen his face before? Like, is really? Or is that is that a thing? Or, or have people like, seen his still face? To this great, uh, still to this still very day. I know he played day. for Guns N' Roses. Which, yeah, so the yeah, only he, reason why I know. Yeah, him. so um, still to this very day, like trying to Google pictures, there's like a few, but no one really knows what he fucking looks like. Dude. Wow. Like, that's just it, dude. It's no like Sia. Yeah. yeah. I know they what Sia looks like. Well, yeah, no, yeah. She, she, she's shown her face a couple times. Yeah. Okay. It was like Slipknot back in Sia there. kills it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. I might have to change my vocalist to Sia. <laughs> It'd still be wicked. I, I'd like that. I like that, guys. Next question. If there was one album you wish that you wrote, what would it be? Oh, that's so tough. That's, that's a hard. <laughs> Let's go around the other way. Oh, okay. Backwards? Oh, backwards? Yeah, okay, okay. Backwards. Okay. One album. <clears throat> Fuck. Um, damn, because there's a lot. Yeah, I know. I'm in the middle for yeah, you are like, you, you got time. You got time. I know. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll I'll pick the album that like completely got me into playing rock music. Okay, it was Yellow Cars Ocean Avenue. Cover to cover, every fucking time was so good. Oh yeah, like I'd heard of them a little bit before them, but then the video for Ocean Avenue came out. I was like, oh my god, this is so good. I went back and listened to it, and I'm like, it's still fucking so. It it holds up, and like the acoustic version of it was fantastic. Ocean Avenue. So, grown man, cry, man. 
you got yours? No. no. <laughs> I'm going to go also a little bit of a throwback here. It's probably when we're all around the same age, and I hope that I don't steal your answer you right now. Steal, you, you might steal, steal I'm not. No. Do you think I might steal yours? <laughs> what are you about to say? I, I'm going to say it because I'm totally going to say I wish that I was part of writing Define the Great oh, Lives. No! Yeah, dude, that album is amazing. Yeah. Under Oath has been my uh, all-time favorite band for uh, literally ever since they came Monday out with uh, what, what? What's that first album? When the Sun Sets or something? Or with oh, Dallas as the front man? Uh, the first album was an act of depression. Yeah, act of yeah, depression. Yeah, yeah act of depression. Yeah. Well, they've always been a Christian metal band no, up up like, until this oh, new album. No, no, Dude, no, listen no, to Define the Great Line. It's literally, and they're only chasing safety. Bruh, it's all bruh, still. Bruh, yeah, bruh, yeah, bruh, yeah. bruh, 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 bruh. Axe Depression was kind of like noise, bro. Like I, I, I cannot. Yeah, I yeah, I cannot yeah, but whatever. At the end of, that's the album I wish I was a part of. That Ooh, album uh, still, ooh, I believe, is, is one of the only hardcore albums to ever go platinum. True. Very true. Okay. You got it? Because I got it. I, I got it. Okay, okay, okay. What got me into the scene in general was uh, Constellations, dude. The oh, album yeah, ABR. That's that. exactly, and that that is. We literally just saw him on Sunday, and it oh. was the best fucking time. That's yeah. awesome. The show was insane, dude. I'm sorry you were working like. Oh, I'm gonna steal his because, like, all right. So this is out of left field, and maybe none of the uh, these other guys are like into it, but Minos El Oso, uh, minus the bear. Oh. So like. I'm big fan of the hi hat work on that, and just generally like that album is one of those albums I can put on from track one to to the end, and it's just fantastic. I mean, everything they've done is great, but that's yeah. that's an album, man. You heard the uh, the chick side project or the new project? No, dude, rips. I have to show you that. <laughs> so good. Just came out. All right, so now since my answer got stolen from under me, like I knew it would, hey, well, I'm listen, gonna have to. I'm gonna listen, have to look. Be more original, guy. Woo! Well, well, it, it sucks because now I'm gonna have to. Now I'm gonna have to be like the more, most generic person ever. Because imagine being that guy to say that you. Oh, so this is. So this question is: If you single handedly like wrote yeah, this like wrote record. This, yeah. If I single-handedly wrote Dark Side of the Moon, like, from the start <laughs> to the finish, it is, <laughs> that is the most generic answer, but, like, yo, come on. Sonically, like, from start to finish, that album is a beauty, and that's, like, one of the albums that's just, like, is, like, an album. Like, it's just, like, one of those things you just gotta listen to front to back, and it's just, it's, like, a story, and I, I love that. I so. mean, I can, I can, fo- I have a secondary if you want to explain why, I have a secondary <laughs> if you want to explain why you picked to find the great line. I mean, I picked to find the great line because that was one of the most influential albums growing up as a uh, like a hardcore vocalist. I mean, um, I used to be a screamer in a band with this guy. Right? Now he's snapping me, but um, literally, I pretty much emulated Spencer's scream. Like, I think that was like the pinnacle of his uh, vocal performance and where he really like delivered and the band as a whole. It was just so out there like it was it was great and also sonically like a great album so that's i mean that's why i would have picked it so just to give my secondary so dan and i don't look like we copy one another periphery p2 oh Uh, that's great yeah it has some of the most melodic guitar work like the the mix on that album front to back i mean i know nolly does all their stuff but it's absolutely amazing it's just good smart music and as technical as it is, like an average listener can still go in. There's a song on that album for everybody, whether you listen to R&B, hip-hop, yeah. EDM, rock, Four new three. metal, whatever it may be. There's something that every single person can relate to, whether, again, it's you know musically or lyrically. That's something I would have loved to have been a part of. And a lot of those guys, and while I can't play to their level, are still a big inspiration to me. The right answer to that question is Scarlet. That's Yay! Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that is mm-hmm. that's, that's the... Uh, yeah. the album. Fuck the album. Just that song. Get out of here. I mean, the rest of the album was uh, no, just okay. ripping. But I'll like, take a quick moment to appreciate the most satisfying sound in the internet. Just listen. <laughs> Crack him one with the boys <laughs> for all you ASMR fans out there. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, my next question is, and I don't know if I asked you this the last time you were on. But um, if you could pick somebody to collaborate with, whether it be a guest vocalist on your next record or a producer you'd like to work with in the future, who would it be? Will Yip. Yep. Oh, Will oh, Yip yep. has done so many yep. goddamn good albums in the past 10 years. Amen. Oh, yeah, I'll go that far because that's really when he started getting his name really out there. 
Um, Stop but- taking people's answers. <laughs> Listen, dude, that just means we're all on the same page and I'm saying the right things. But Will Yip, I'll give a secondary then again, uh, David Bennett, because he's a goddamn legend as well. I mean, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with uh, Matt Goldman because I think Matt Goldman did so much better from under it than David Bennett. <laughs> TVA. David Bendith literally did define the great line and Lost in Sound of Separation. So did Matt, Matt Goldman. Did so, so did David Bendith. But Matt Goldman did more. It was Matt Goldman's studio. False. It was literally no, it was at House of dark. Loud. It was, it was literally at House of it Loud. It was Glow in the Dark. Pull, pull the phone out. Pull it was the phone Glow out in the right Dark now. Studios. It was Glow in the Dark Studios. Ready? View from no, here. I'm not putting check, any money right on. here. Fact check. Good thing it's not a beer because I was a kid. Ready? <laughs> Wait. Right, ready? Untangle this. This is the first fact check uh, on this interview. Uh, <laughs> Well, now I have a fact check. Okay, while we're doing this, while they're So, funny enough, the last time we, we talked... Find the great line, not lost in sound. Okay. The last time we talked, uh, mine was Will Yip. Um, but now that, you know, they just... It was it. actually at Zing Recording Studios. So we're all wrong. We're all wrong. Y'all suck. Wait, wait, hang on, ready? Uh, Matt Goldman was the producer. So, uh... Yeah. Anyway, uh, Bo from uh, Seosin has been uh, has been doing some some really good stuff lately, and um, I think it would be really cool to work with him. Uh, he's been on a bunch of, uh, I guess, podcasts slash YouTube videos lately, and um, no, it was not. <laughs> it literally, dude, it literally, as soon as you as Google as search sound. it, where was the find the put sound? your phones it was away? Lost in the sound. That was glow in the dark with Matt Goldman. Yeah, and David Bennett's a part of that as well. Woo! All right. Suck me, baby. But he ain't even in this. He ain't even in the credits. Oh. It doesn't matter. He literally had. You want me to get the samples for you from Mike? <laughs> I, I, know he has samples. Samples, so. I know he has the samples, but Matt Goldman over David Benz. So if we had one person to work with. <laughs> yes, uh, correct, right, correct. So correct. Uh, shout out to Dan James Griffin. Uh, he lives in Australia. Great fucking guitar player. Sick. Okay. Um, this guy is technically inclined with. Ed. Dude, this guy knows everything inside and out, and uh, he's a genius. Um, would love to work with him one day. So. Hear me out, bro. Did you answer? Did you answer, Mike? No, it was well, yeah. It was. Oh. You were, oh. <laughs> he's put I out know he does a lot of your favorite bands. He's put out so many of like my favorite albums over the last like ten years. Like uh, one of the more recent Circa albums. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of feud, a lot of feud, 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 feud composure. Yeah. Like yeah. all those bands, he's crushed he's it. So oh, the last Tiger's Jaw album, which I yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I still cry myself to sleep with that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome guys, and then the last thing, the most important thing. Tell them about your band, where they can find you at, and anything coming up in the next couple months. Hang on, you haven't talked much. <laughs> oh, he was talking while we were bickering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get him in the clear. Then. Right, you go first. You go first. No, you go first. You go first. Go first, new guy. I had five shots of vodka, so I got to repeat the question in my head. So repeat it one more time, please. <laughs> Tell them where they can find you at on social media and anything coming up in the Legit next Legit everything. So iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Instagram, Facebook. And everything pretty much with the social media game is yeah. at The View From Here NJ. Yeah. So it's really easy for you, except for Twitter, which is TVFH NJ, but we're really slacking on that department. Yo, find me on Tinder. <laughs> find him on Tinder. <laughs> Match with. Wait, wait. Ready for this? All right. So, anybody listening? Any ladies listening? Um, good-looking ladies. Yes. Um, Mike is willing and ready. So, so anyone that matches, anyone that matches with him on Tinder and messages our band and like shows proof of that, free, 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 free and um, free shirt. Free shirt. free shirt. And for one low price of one beer, you can have all of this. Yeah. All so of that this. means So that means and he has to match vegan. with you. So and he's, and he's vegan. He's vegan too. Vegan. His farts smell, but he's vegan. So that kind of goes against him because that means he doesn't like raw meat. Sorry. There we go. So there yeah, you go. I mean, you heard it here first. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I don't even know how to follow that up, honestly. <laughs> um... Go check out The View from here because they're fantastic. And I always love talking to New Jersey bands because, you know, we rip out here. So uh, let's get it. Uh, check the links in the description to find out about them. Uh, go follow them on social media, all that sort of stuff. Go follow Mike on uh, Tinder because, uh, because you know, if we ain't trying to get all that publicity, now we're, Dude, now we're really doing it. thank you for coming up. Thank you for driving an hour yes. to come come just uh, talk some nonsense with no, us. No, it's all good. And if you enjoyed this interview, like, share it, like it, subscribe. 
goes a long way. Yeah. And thanks, at the course, Audio Addiction? Is it Audio it's Addiction at Media? Audio Addiction Media. Okay, man. at Audio Addiction Media. Yeah, you thank you, bro. You you're you're the fucking man. Go check them out, and uh, hopefully Fuck yeah. oh, no, we'll, we'll be doing this again very soon, guys. Talk to you later. Woo! Yeah! Tinder, Mike, get it. <laughs> hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos, so definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us guys. Talk to you later. Deuces!